there, trucking brothers. The old truck and dub express with old Ralph. Yeah, hello, I'm in here. We're going down here to get us a real load this time. Fifty-two tons. It's about time we found the load, got a little weight. And driving a fully standard shift with the H shifter and two splitters. And clutch, brake, gas, all that hard work. So, uh, we're going down here to pick that up. And we, we're starting out here in McDermott. And we're going to, uh, let me see, where are we going? Huh? Elko. We're going to Elko with it. 52 tons of piece of equipment. I, by the looks of it, I think it's something that would lift up a, a box trailer, a box trailer and stack them. That's what it looks like. I, I don't really know what it is. I know what most heavy equipment is, but not that, but I would say that it's to stack box trailers with. It. That's my opinion of it anyway. You know, Rusty, when I looked at it, I thought the same thing. I said, uh, what else could that be used for? That big arm on it, that big old uh, latching thing on there, it has to be one of those. Yeah, I'd say you're right, Ralph. Well, my wife's gone this to, uh, from Friday evening to Sunday to go to a uh, the get uh, all the grandkids cheerleading and, and gymnastic competition in some part of Tennessee, so they won't be back to Sunday. So uh, I'm a king again for a day or two. And uh, my granddaughter Trinity drove this truck for 1,500 miles the other day. This very truck here. And she picked the color and painted it. That's her favorite color. So I decided I would drive it. It's not, it's not really, uh, not really my favorite color, I don't guess, but it does look darn good. Mm, yeah, I thought it looked good. I thought it looked mighty good there, Rust, Rusty. And Trinity's a better, better driver than you are. Okay, Rusty.
since we left the dock back here up for us, That's what it takes, Rip. That's what it takes. I think we got a five on the order coming. I think what I put in in the 18 speed transmission. I could start riding it down on the old pad, uh, the gear ratio and all that stuff, if you ever had And I'm going to show you a picture of a uh, video of five uh, wild turkeys running through my yard in here. Just a little while ago, hold, uh, hold that up here, Ralph. Come on, I rushed it. All right, I'll get her up here. Thing it didn't have one if one stopped, uh, they they would kill each other for sure. They took off running so fast, you know what? We we feed them and, and uh, you could shake a can at them and they'll uh, shake a can of corn at them and they'll come towards you, uh, running towards you, but they won't get about ten or twelve feet up you. They five of them. Out there. That right, Ralph? My, you know what it is, Rusty. You know what it is. You, you feed them too. I was sitting here watching my um, security cameras. Actually, I wasn't watching them. Reason I paused there, I was just sitting here and they caught the corner of my eye. I looked at it and I seen the five turkeys just standing around the front yard there. And I told Trinity to take my phone and go film them, so she went and filmed them. But uh, they are always around here. And a little later this evening, there was uh, four deer out there. I took a lot of pictures of those. Zoomed in, take them as in the same spot. They come up there, got a salt block out there, and every now and then put out corn. We'll put out a little corn about every day in a salt block and stuff. I was there here and I rode with Trinity for you know, 15, 1700 miles in this truck and, and talked to her and had a good time laughing and talking. 
and she done a really good job driving. I told her if there's ever an emergency that she could actually drive. Because uh, uh, she turns 12 next month, I think. But, but she can drive this thing good. As long as she's paying attention every now and then, she gets a little tired and it goofs off a little. And she'll, but she might uh, run out of road or something like that. Reminder that she's playing instead of just bored over there. But when she's paying attention, she can drive. She can drive just as good as anybody else. Got a rhino outside, uh, four before, and she drives it around and around and the house and all that stuff. Make circles around the house. Drives it up and down the driveway. And all by herself, my son's always in there with her, but she's driving, though. I got some videos of that over to put on here where she's driving through mud holes, spinning and throwing mud at him. And he gets out and stands by the mud hole and she backs up and comes through it wide open. But uh, it's got a lot of stuff like that. Mm, yeah, they're busy, they're busy bunch of us, and they have a lot of fun. They sure do. And I seen her driving this thing here and that rhino and all that stuff in the lawnmower. And she does a good job. Yeah, I forgot about that mower. On, I got that train built for that mower, that five car train built to go behind the mower. I forgot on her on one of her sister's birthdays last year, Trinity drove the train at a park, in a big level park, and, and hauled all the people grown up and kids that wanted to ride. She done all the driving that day on the lawnmower without a deck on it, just a mower to pull the train. This shift in here uh, sounds a lot, a lot funnier when you do your actual shift. I used to shift uh, all the time. It was probably the last three, two or three months that that I was driving, making videos that I switched over automatically one day when Trandy was driving or something, and I drove it. And the day I said I'd switch it back to full standard with a shifter and get used to those splitters again. As long as you get your splitters right, you do pretty good. If you don't get it, get down, get them out of whack, you kill your motor all the time because you're in the wrong range. T-Rex can tell you, I used to have to start my motor about 400 times in <laughs> one video and hit that, uh, hit that splitter and, uh, and I'd be in the mid-range to the low range. Now nah, that's right, Rusty, that's right. I still have to drive a lot of, you know, people, I, I just don't sit here pay people. I drive on the night shift we drive, but we drive as a team. I see a lot of, I'll wake a lot of the day, but I do the driving of the nights. Old Rusty there, he's old. And, uh, he can't hardly see much when it gets dark. It's just where the light's shining, you know. But he claims he can't see much in the dark. So I have to take over, big boy Ralph has to take over the thing for him. Let him whine about being old. I can't help but he grow old. And it's better to grow old than not to. Watch out there, brother. Yeah, I thought he was going to pull that around. This uh, teal color, or I think she called it. Uh, it's one of them colors that I don't know. The color that Trinity put on this truck, kind of growing on me. Like looks up in the mirror there. Now my youngest granddaughter, she come in here to drive the other night, and I was nervous anyway. And she come in here to drive like a hair. She's eight years old, and she wanted to keep driving. She hit one fence, and I get the truck loose for her. I tell her to be careful and watch where she's going and keep that mirror on the white line and all this and that. And, and she goes straight across the road and hit another one. 
And then she'd go across the road and hit another one and told her the truth. And uh, I was getting, I was getting grouchy with her and everything. <laughs> I couldn't take it. I, fin I finally said, uh, I finally said, you can't drive no more today. You gonna have to take a break. I had to calm down a little. It, it, it just, uh, it just made me nervous. She was crashing so much because wasn't really going nowhere, just starting to go straight across the road and crash. She needs more training. I told her, I told her, I said, you might be a truck driver, but you're too little to have a truck. And yeah, that's what she told her, but she wasn't too happy. She didn't, she didn't cry or not. She didn't want to drive no way. She just wanted to crash. That's right, Ralph. You were having fun. Oh, well, boy, well, I did get it figured out about her. Failing the eight-year-old. Uh, I didn't make her quit driving. I took her to a farm sound. Put her on a tractor and told her she could drive anywhere. Because on that, you can go in the field, drive across the water river. And uh, she had a really good time on the farm sound. So that's what I done. I put her on a slow-moving tractor. I drove a terrible lot of Volvos and over on ETS too. I've not really drove that many Volvos over here, but I sure do like this truck now. It could, it could move way up on the left foot.
Bob the captain. Yeah, I'm still calling back. Forward talking to him. He acts like he don't want to harm me much. Acts like you told him something about me that that wouldn't do good. Surely you wouldn't do that to you. Wouldn't stab him in the back, would you? No, not me, real. Might have been some of these other friends we know. Yeah, yeah, I'd say they could be spreading rumors. You still want to go on that ship, real? Oh, oh, well, let me think. Yeah, probably as the boat is in that warm or the cold up there. Well, <laughs> I don't know, real. up and do a climate the climate test and the weather check on the location, see what's going on up there for man. Commits to something, you know, what I ain't there burn. Oh yeah. Right. People we almost there with fifty nine tons that made the truck actually strain for a change. Boy I thought we had to buy that car right there. I got good insurance. Car salesman told me one time I was trying out a new car to car lot. Really big city. And he told me to just find somebody with a new looking car and pull out. They, they got insurance and good brakes. So that's about the only way you can get out in them busy, busy cities. I always hate to bring stuff to the railroad yard, but the only one way you can park these things. If you bring a regular load in here and have to back blown around to the back in the old days, it was a hard job. Done it many a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. I think I even done it a couple times. I rode it. Look at that green truck coming there, rode it. That's a nice one, Ralph. Folks, I was left just to uh, wind up Marcus thing. We didn't get it. We didn't get too much. Uh, didn't get to uh, do too much uh, aggravating each other and arguing and calming here or anything. But I had to enjoy the trip there. We we'll line her up here, Marcus thing. We'll catch you on the next trip. We'll wind this one down here in a minute. I have to pay attention to what I'm doing here, so if you uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe and share it. Share this thing and hit that like button on it. And get some viewers over here to watch this thing. It's long head over here. Talk to you later. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We'll see you next video. Bye bye.